And we're back at 10 after 8, and this morning we're starting a new series today, Investigates Diet Programs. If you are looking to lose some weight, whether it's a little or a lot, you know it can be a real painful struggle. So we've done some of the work for you. Over the next few days, we're going to be taking a closer look at some of the more popular diet programs on the market. Today, one woman's attempt to lose that unwanted weight with the help of Jenny Craig. It's an epidemic affecting families nationwide. An estimated 66% of American adults are overweight, a problem that Lisa Abbott has struggled with for over a decade. It's been a constant battle for probably 12 years. That battle of the bulge began after giving birth to twins. She has since tried to lose that baby weight on her own. But with a busy work schedule and a full family life, the weight hasn't come off. I want to lose weight because okay. I want to feel healthy. I want to be a role model for my children, but I just want to feel good again. We arranged for Lisa to follow a diet program for three months, one that fit into her busy lifestyle. Her starting weight, 181 pounds. Her goal, to be 20 pounds lighter. Her diet, Jenny Craig. Have you called Jenny yet? The program's cornerstone is its prepackaged, mostly frozen meals. For the next three months, they'll be her breakfast, lunch, dinner, and dessert. She'll supplement these meals with fresh fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. I am having teriyaki glazed salmon and vegetables. With the diet underway, the initial transition from home cooked meals to Jenny Craig's pre portioned meals was a tough one. I'm hungry. <laughs> The hardest part about it is just the portions. They are very small. I'm only on 1,200 calories a day, which is nothing. She had to find ways to curb her hunger and relied on her family to keep her on track. The family's very supportive. In fact, when I want to cheat, and it's, you know, I'm like, can I have a bite of that? They're like, no, you can't have that. By the beginning of month two, the hunger pangs faded away, and so did a couple of pounds. I see it um, not only in weight, I see it in um, inches. With a new workout plan in place, Lisa continued to see results. Working out is very important to keeping my weight off. It energizes me for the day. It gets me motivated. And with just two weeks to go, she had a new outlook and was in need of a new wardrobe. I feel fantastic. I, it's amazing, the transformation. Her final weight at the end of three months, 163 pounds, 18 pounds lighter, and just two pounds from her goal. I'm just ecstatic and look forward to losing hopefully another 10 pounds. I'm not done yet. And we should say that a much lighter Lisa Abbott is here along with Heidi Skolnick, a nutritionist at the Women's Sports Medicine Center. Hey, ladies, good morning to both of you. Good morning. You go. You Thank did you. great. How do you feel? I feel wonderful. I talked to about the last three months. What's the hardest part been? The hardest part been has been the portions. They're very, very small. So how, how did you get over that hurdle? I mean, I read about this, and I'm thinking, you know, I'm used to eating big meals. How did you get through that period where it just looked like you couldn't survive on that amount of food? I got through it with talking to my friends. I have a very good friend who has had a struggle with her weight the whole time she's been, you know, born. And she has talked me through it. She has lost her weight. She's kept it off. For years, so I called her every single time I had a problem. How'd those meals taste? They were actually very good. They were? They were. I was surprised. So it wasn't like a chore to eat them? No, they were very tasty. And I'm curious, you, you, in the piece there it says you've been trying to lose weight for more than a decade now. Yes. So why did it work this time? What, what, did the television show motivation help you? It, I mean, what well, worked? that was a lot of motivation to come on TV and say that, you know, I was on this diet. That and, you didn't gain weight after three get, months, right? Exactly, and I wanted to lose the weight. I was motivated. I was ready to do it. And it's just hard to do it on your own, to just get started. It's a great jump start to a weight loss program. And have that date on the calendar on the horizon saying, I know I've got to look good by right. that date. 18 pounds in three months, Heidi. Should others expect similar results on Jenny Craig from your experience? Well, I do think that it was in the realm of healthy and reasonable, but it was very aggressive. 1,200 calories is low. And weight loss isn't a competition to begin with, so let's put it that way. Right. And when you lose weight, the real goal is for health. There's also an aesthetic. But every 5% of your weight that you lose, there's about a 50% reduction in certain risk factors. So if you keep that in mind, you don't have to have the same results. But let's go back to what you mentioned a second ago, 1,200 calories. And Lisa said the same thing. If you put anyone on 1,200 calories a day, aren't they going to lose weight? 
Absolutely. In fact, I think it was below, possibly below your basal metabolic rate, which means Lisa's actually losing some of that lean mass she was trying to gain from her workout, which isn't so good. That's your metabolically active tissue. So you want to keep that. Here's what I'm thinking about it. And that is, so you've been for three months consuming 1,200 calories a day. Now you're in what I think they call the transition stage, yes. right? So you're not eating three Jenny meals a day. You're eating two or one. Exactly. How is that going to happen when you start cooking your own meals and you start going out to a restaurant? How are you going to not gain weight back immediately? Well, they actually give you some tools to help you with that. So you kind of get a, an idea of what portions the actual size of portions are should look like should look like so you have some visuals that you can use and I've gone out to dinner and you know what my stomach's not I can't eat as much anymore anyway so you kind of retrain your body to not eat as I, often I know you think she was a really good candidate for this diet because she's busy she's working she's not somebody who wants to spend a lot of time cooking anyway Right. Who would be a bad candidate? I think somebody who does eat out a lot, lifestyle driven, somebody who likes to cook and likes freshly prepared food, that that's really important to them, and somebody with a more, um, I think, challenged medical history, complicated medical history. So you Because it's not really individualized. You look over the next year or six months, maybe we should start shorter term. Are you confident you can keep this weight off and even lose more? I believe I can. And I've, you know, I still have some weight that I want to take off and lose. And this is a great jump start. And I think it's something that I can continue with. So would you recommend Jenny Craig to someone else? I would. If you want to get started for the first three, four months, I think it's fantastic. Con congratulations. What were you going to say? Well, I was just going to say that I think that, you know, especially for people who, there are people who don't want to think about it who are so busy overeating they can't get out of their own way and this is a good option but really be mindful of the other aspects which is the behavioral aspect um, the support system that they provide and transition where you transition where you have the support still it's all part of the picture Heidi and Lisa Lisa congratulations thank again you. it's nice to see you thank you and tomorrow our special series we're gonna meet another woman who's trying to lose those extra pounds this time using Weight Watchers so check